there are a few things that I want Washington to hear loud and clear, and that is the uh, Community Black Grant Funds uh, is a tremendous um, supporter of our cities. It, it allows us to take care of so many different programs to enrich the quality of life in our communities. It's, it's been something that's been a major partnership between the cities and the federal government. And every year it's, it's under scrutiny and under um, review for, for reducing. And it's on the chopping block again. Um, we have been able to take care of seniors, take care of youth programs, address um, handicap accessibility training under this program. And we really need to take it off of the chopping block. Uh, we understand we can't get in, we can't get increase in funds, but every single year it's under scrutiny, and and it's 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 been everything from eliminating it to 65 percent reductions to to just really saying that we will not give you any support in this area. So um, that in infrastructure, I can't tell you the investment in our roads and our bridges. Uh, it was outlined in the jobs bill, and, and, and as we know that. Does, <laughs> that uh, disintegrated. However, if we as a country are going to be competitive with, our, with other countries abroad who are making tremendous investments, tremendous investments in infrastructure, America must step up. We've been a leader in, in, in developing um, and supporting commerce, knowing that our roads and our infrastructure is extremely important to that. And uh, we must step up to the plate, and that money must be invested, and it creates jobs. It creates jobs, and it takes care of a major need that all of our cities are having because we're aging as a country, we're aging as our communities, and we have to reinvest in our infrastructure.